In this webinar, we're going to talk about the email accounts underneath the settings, how to set up an email account, and uh, some things that you might need to know about that. In order to add email accounts, you'll need to go uh, to the settings tab, which is on the lower left hand side. And the reason why one would add email accounts is so that Ida can bring in leads from any email uh, accounts that you might have when you're having leads delivered there. But also maybe if you want to um, bring in some type of email from a customer so you can document it underneath the lead. So in order to create an email account or also to, to send out emails, in order to create an email account, you go to the settings tab here in the lower left. When you click on settings tab, the default is currently email accounts or you can click on email accounts and you'll see that I actually have uh, six email accounts currently set up. In order to set up a new email account, you'd simply just uh, come up here and click on add account. And the display name will be the, uh, the name that you'd like to show up when an email is sent out to somebody. So if you're sending an email from Ida from a lead, then the display name would be, in this case, uh, my name. And then you need to put in your email address, which would be the, uh, the basic settings here for the email address. So let's say that I had an email address of ctaggart at gmail.com. Then after you type in the name of the email provider, if it's one that's recognized by Ida, then there's an autofill settings. And what the autofill settings will do will help you with your incoming mail settings and your outgoing mail settings. And if I click on that, then it's going to populate the incoming server and the incoming port, the outgoing server and the outgoing port to what uh, we believe it currently is at that particular time. It does not mean that that's actually what those settings are. You'll need to actually do a check to make sure that your settings are correct. Uh, I can put a description in here and call it my Gmail account or or it could be where leads are delivered, that sort of thing. And then you'll need to put in a username and password. Now, the username will probably be your email address. And again, you'll probably need to check with your email provider. That's one of the things that we're gonna to have to stress for you is that there's no way for um, Claudia or Ida or anybody to know exactly what settings you need to put for all of these. It's usually gonna be something you can look up in Google for that particular email provider. But in this particular case, I would put in my email address at gmail.com and then whatever my password might be. <clears throat> and that would be for me to access email. So in other words, if there's any incoming emails, uh, an email that goes to ctaggart at gmail.com, then me knowing the username and password to access that particular email account is what Ida needs to know to be able to basically log in grab an email and then read it and then bring it into the actual program itself, right? So as far as the incoming mail settings go, in this case it should be POP3. POP.gmail.com will be an incoming server in the port 995 and requires SSL setting, yes. But again, try to follow the auto prefill settings. Um, this is probably the most complicated part of the entire program. So if you can understand what these are, if you get these settings on your own, that should work out pretty well. And then on the right hand side, if I can use the same incoming user password settings as over here, then I'll just leave this checked to yes. In most cases, that would be the case. So if, if not, if there was something that I wanted to, to do, a, uh, I needed a different type, then I could, I could actually uh, change this to yes and, and put in a custom username and password. But it should be yes in this particular case. And then, of course, if Ida's going to send an email out, it has to go through the outgoing server of smtp.gmail.com. Outgoing port of 587 requires us to sell yes in this particular case for Gmail. Okay, and again, this is of the Gmail settings. On the other hand, if this was uh, Yahoo, then you'd see that the settings are going to be slightly different. So it's going to be IMAP uh, and the server is imap.mail.yahoo.com in company port 993. So these settings might be uh, completely different here. All right, and I'll need to put in, again, a username and password. Okay, now I'll use a sample. I'll use my AOL account as an example here. And my AOL account, I've got my display name, it's Chuck Taggart. My email address is ctaggart at AOL.com. And then further down with AOL, I don't need the at AOL.com at the end of the username. AOL, again, my username, which is simply to see Taggart. Um, again, that's something that you would find by going to Google, and doing a search for what are my uh, incoming mail settings for AOL, or what are my outgoing mail settings for AOL. If you read that, then you'd, you'd see that it does a description of that for you. So the default account and active account buttons here 
what those will do is that's telling me to either be uh, to read emails and if one is a default account send out emails so let's say that I have this set to yes is active and I hit save and now what's going to happen is on this particular page here if I refresh my email accounts you'll see that I've got an ace care email account here where a default is set to yes and active is set to yes but my AOL account is also set to yes for active and what that means is that Ida is going to reach out every uh, minute or so and look at my AOL account for new emails that came in and then also check my ace care account for new emails that came in however the default account there can be only one email account set and what that would do is if I'm going to send an email out from Ida, whichever one is my default is the email account that it's going to send from. So if you think about it, you can have multiple email accounts that are out there. Uh, and you can and people can send you an email to any one of those accounts. But if you're going to send one person an email, you can't send them that same email from all of your accounts. It can really only be from one account at a time. So that's why this uh, you can only have one default account. Okay. So I can actually have all six of these email accounts active, and Ida will check for any emails that went to each one of those email accounts. If I want to send an email out, I have to determine which one I'm typically going to use as a default. Okay? I'm going to come back over here and open up the AOL when I change this back to no. And um, once you actually have your description in and your, uh, your incoming settings correct, you hit save, and then you want to go over to your test settings tab to make sure that the thing works fine. And when you click begin test, it'll say sending test message, and you should get a check, check mark pretty quick. And what that means is that Ida was able to successfully send an email out through the AOL account, in this particular case AOL, to itself. And then what it's going to do is it's going to check for new messages, it's going to look for that email and see if it actually was able to, uh, to uh, successfully read that email. If it does, then it'll, it'll go through that and go to step three, which is test complete. And uh, sometimes that can take about three or four minutes. So give it a little bit of time and um, let it just run itself uh, or however long it should typically take it. So it'll ultimately either go test complete or test fail. And then once I'm done, I know that my settings are correct, then I can close that. And then, of course, uh, I, I set that one back to inactive. So uh, I'm, right now what I'm, tip, I'm using is I'm running off of one email account only, which is the going, that is going to be the most efficient way of doing this. If you can typically work off of one email account, uh, you will see better performance, uh, but you can use multiple ones for it to, uh, to read as far as active. So hopefully that helps you. Hope it helps you describe uh, to you what the, um, e the email account settings are. Once again, would you stress talking to your uh, IT guy or going to Google and doing a search for what those settings are for each one of the email accounts that are out there? Um, and then see what happens and then uh, that's, that's pretty much just about it. So hopefully that helps you. If you have any other questions or need any help with anything else, do a search on YouTube or visit us at nacecare.com or cloudiaassistant.com.